Let's look at some of the ways that you can format numbers in Microsoft Excel. Um, I've just typed in a number into a cell, just a random number, just to show you how you can format um, this number. So by default, it's just going to leave it as a plain number. It's not going to do anything special unless you've already formatted the cell to apply certain characteristics to um, number or text that you put in that. So your first option up here, and this is on the home ribbon, and this is the number section is um, this drop down for your number format. Now right now it's set at general and that's the default. There's no specific format for that. Now you could set it as a number and if you do that it's going to add some decimal points and it's going to officially be a number now. You can set it as currency and it's going to go ahead and add um, a dollar sign and any necessary commas. Accounting, very similar to that. It's going to give you some extra room. Um, short date, if it was a date, then it's going to format it like this. Long date, then it's going to format it like this. Time, it's going to show it as a time, okay, and it wasn't really set as a time. It went ahead and tried to do it there. Um, percentage, you could have it set as a percentage. It's going to add decimal points and a percentage sign. A fraction, again, didn't really do anything here, but if you, if you had a fraction, then it would go ahead and put it in fraction format scientific um, and then just as text which means it will um, align it to the left of the cell which is the default for text. Okay so let's go ahead and change it back to general and here's some particular ways that you can change the number formatting. You can click to add this dollar sign or you could click the button beside it and you could choose to do the different currencies um, and there's also even more accounting formats that you can use different symbols all these different currencies and then you can specify the decimal place and um, you can also click here and it'll put a percentage, click here and it'll put a comma, um, and then you can also increase your decimal or decrease your decimal with just a few easy clicks. So that's some ways that you can format your numbers in Microsoft Excel.